okay so here therefore the heat generated h heat is h in the resistance okay by current i in time t as follows okay understand looking at this circuit heat is generated in the resistance r when the i current flow heat is generated in the resistance in a time of second so that is why h is equal to here already one i is there but one more i so i square in the resistance na so r and t so heat how the heat is generated when the current flow in the resistance in a time t so heat is generated so according to ohms law in the place of v okay according to ohms law so v is equal to i r as per ohms law so that is why in the place of v v right i r understand so h is equal to v l t na so ohms law is what um, what is that v means potential difference it is directly proportional to the current equal to the current so v l t is here v i t so v means v is equal to i r so that is why in the place of v v right i and one more i is here that is why i square r t okay so this is known as the joule's law of heating so joule's law of heating means what in the resistance heat is generated when the current flows in for some time so it is the joule's law of heating okay so the electrical energy is converted into the heat energy okay so here the heat according to the sorry according to the law when we see here the heat h okay heat h generated that means produced in the resistance r is directly proportional to the square of the they are explaining about this one okay so heat is generated is directly proportional means what equal to the square of the current how much current flow in the resistance that much heat is produced okay so this is the law of conservation how much we uh, how much reactants we use in the equation that much product we get na so like that only how much current flow that much heat is produced that is why h proportional to this symbol we call it as a proportional to okay so h proportional to i square understand next one the heat generated in the resistance is directly proportional to the resistivity r understand so that is why heat generated first one is what it is directly proportional to the current and the next one it is heat is generated is directly proportional to the resistance so heat how much he, it is also equal to the resistance and after some time heat is uh, generated is directly equal to the time how much time uh, current flows and that much heat only it can produce na yes for one hour when we work we get the according to our work we get the money yes so and how much we do hard work that much result we get yes so that like that only so in three times so this heat is directly proportional to equal to the current resistance and time so this is the joule's law of heating okay so now we see about the electric power okay so that is why this is the joule's law of heating very important next we see electric power okay so the rate at which electric energy is converted converted means what changed transformed into any other form of energy is known as a electric power underline this point what is the electric power when the electric energy changes into another form of energy for example electric energy is now changing into heat energy it is the electric power and in the motors electric energy changes into the mechanical energy so that is the electric power when the electric energy is changing into another energy it is called as a electric power okay so it is equal to the product of the electric current and potential difference 
द रेट ऑफ लॉस ऑफ एनर्जी इन एनी सर्क्यूट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एलेक्ट्रिक पवर ओके सो द लॉस ऑफ एनर्जी फ्रॉम द बल्ब सम वेन वी टच आफ्टर सम टाइम इट इज हॉट यस मोबाइल ऑल्सो आफ्टर चार्जिंग सम टाइम इट इज हॉट द लॉस ऑफ एनर्जी इज ऑल्सो ए एलेक्ट्रिक पवर इन अदर वर्ड्स द रेट ऑफ वर्क डन इज नोन एज पवर एंड इज डोनेटेड बाई पी सो एलेक्ट्रिक पवर इज डोनेटेड बाई वॉट कैपिटल पी ओके सो इन एन एलेक्ट्रिक सर्क्यूट करंट आई फ्लोस अक्रॉस ए पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस देन द लॉस ऑफ एलेक्ट्रिक एनर्जी इन टी सेकेंड्स इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू वी एल टी सो एवरीथिंग इज कमिंग हियर अंडरस्टैंड सो वेन द करंट फ्लो इन द एलेक्ट्रिक वायर अक्रॉस द दिस पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ओके फ्लोस अक्रॉस ए पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस देन द लॉस ऑफ एलेक्ट्रिक एनर्जी इन द टी सेकेंड्स इज वॉट W is equal to V L T. Potential difference means when the electricity started to flow one end to the another end. Okay, so this is the potential difference. Okay. Therefore, the loss of energy V means work done. V is the potential difference. I is flow of current, and T is the time. So here, therefore, the loss of energy for one second. For one second, how much energy is lost? Okay, so that is one showing W by T, work work done, time, and V L T potential difference current time by T, and V I potential difference and current. Okay, this is known as the electric power. Next, so electric power is equal to W by T is equal to V I. Okay. so the si unit of the this one you remember the, the si unit of the electric power is what watts okay the si unit of the electric power is what watts and power means what volt okay so what is the v what is the potential difference si unit volt okay volts potential difference okay the power of the current for that one for when we take the battery and anything it is um, measured by the volts okay so here v is the volt i is the current so power means what volt into current okay volt means potential difference into current so the si unit of the power is what watts w a t t s watts okay so here the energy produced in a circuit by a source in time t is p into t which equals to v l t potential difference current and t is the time okay understand so h is equal to h is means what the heat energy na h is the uh, heat energy produced converted when the electric current to flow in the circuit in the resistance for some time okay here v is equal to i r i means current r is the resistance so the value of electricity consumed consumed means used okay so the value of current is used h is represented by unit r w h okay so for the heat Uh, represented by unit r w h r is the resistance w is the work done and h is the hour okay so this important one you see 1 kilowatt per hour okay so 1000 watts are equal to 1 kilowatts 1000 watts are equal to 1 Kilo watts. When we get the current bill in the house, they will measure through the kilo watts. How much watts of electric power is measured by what? S the unit of electric power is watts, na? Yes. Then thousand watts are equal to one kilo watts. Okay. So H means hour. K W means kilo watts. So for one hour. Okay, when we use the thousand watts, so how much it is for second? Okay, 